But when you sit on a chair, you don't just leave your spine to the chair, as if you have no spine. So you sit without spine, and so spine doesn't work. When you learn to sit on your spine, your spine becomes a spine. And at that time, the little, little pine in the beginning, but if you do it from the very beginning, there's no pine in the spine. <laughs> and you can be at your own, independent, free. That is the first key to freedom. My father asked me once when I was a very young boy, who do you think is the greatest enemy of humankind, human race? And I said, uh, the man who invented atom bomb. He said, no, the man who invented chair. He really created all the problems for men. Because chair takes care. You sit on the chair and now you're free. You have, everything is taken care of. You want your arm like this. Then there is a provision there, you put your arm like that. Now this is unnatural. You really don't realize that your arms are not made to be like this most of the time. It gives lots of tensions here. But because then it gives you those leaning back and your spine doesn't have to work at all. And that's what people like. No spine. So they sit like this, they lean on this side and lean on that side. It spoils their whole body by wrong sitting posture. It was difficult, I came to America, people were sitting, their feet used to be like this. Then they thought, okay, maybe we put something in the back, a heavy big thing, it will work. <sighs> they put something in the back like this, and then they sat like this. Because they saw me sitting and my feet were coming like this without any problem. And their feet were always like this. <laughs> should be very natural for you to sit. Adults also can do it, but it requires now a little pain.